This yeah. is Auto Body Man coming to you live from my studio. And thanks for my lovely wife that helped me hit the record button. If you want to say hi, you can. Okay. To do this project that we're going to be doing, you'll need some gloves, a respirator, and your part. You also need some paint, which I forgot the car. Lucky me. Give me one second. Okay, we're going to be using this Rust-Oleum Black. I always get the, I usually go to Lowe's to get these cans, but because I like the way that the tips are set up. And these are okay if you want to go cheap and the only place around you is Walmart. We also have the gold I was talking about where we're going to try to do the marble effect. And then we, of course we have clear coat. So, let's get into this project. Keep my cans close, except for my clear coat, don't need it for now. Let's show you what I did to the helmet already by prepping it. Now, mind you, I told you that I was going to show you what not to do on this project. First, we started out by uh, doing the Bondo. If you look, I have this thing halfway taped off and masked off. Of course the inside is masked off too so we can paint this a solid color later. And there's also nicks and whatnot in the Bondo. Scratches everywhere. And everything else like that. Let's see. Yeah, let's see if we can get that. Sounds like my stepbrother's coming back. I had to make sure he didn't pull in the driveway because uh, we're about to do hydro dipping and I don't want his truck to get overspray. I don't want your truck getting oversprayed. I'm, I'm having you stop there on purpose. You notice the car is away from the garage. I'm, I'm currently doing a live video on how to hydro dip. First, of course, we got my bucket here full of water. Don't know if you can see that, but I flicked water. Normally, when you want to do hydro dipping, you want some gloves that will actually protect all the way up to close to your elbows. So when you go to dip the part in, you don't get paint on your arms. Since I already know how to do this for the most part, because if you notice in my, one of my videos from a long time ago, uh, I repainted this helmet pink, black, and gold. Well, the marble, the reason why I got the idea for the marble this time was because of the last paint job we did on the, on the motorcycle helmet here. So, taking that into effect, I figured we'd try again, try to do the marble effect this time with the gold and black. To do this project, always have a 3M respirator. Make sure the filters have been replaced. They're like nice and close to being white so you, you don't get the contaminants ingested into your uh, chest. Because I do not want to have, hear about somebody being mis being reckless in painting without a respirator because it will harm you in, in the later years. Um, the reason why I tell people to wear a respirator is because it could cause lung cancer if you don't use a respirator like later in life and say, oh, I'm not going to be one of those people to get affected and actually become affected. It's like, why didn't I listen to Auto Body Man a long time ago? So 
let's get this respirator on, get it checked, and you'll notice I'll do a small test check, and it's basically holding my hands over the, and then breathing in, and then holding over the middle and breathing out. If it's a good seal, it will balloon up a little bit, and I, and I can't breathe out. So, you can get these respirators at Walmart usually, walmart.com, Lowe's, anywhere else like that. Good fit. Okay, when you're spraying, make sure you know what colors you're using, make sure they're well shaken. And there's no other vehicle in this in the make sure there's no other vehicle in the in the general area because you do not want the overspray to to change your color a different color so i'm working with gold and black because i want a flat black the reason why i chose this black is because it's semi-gloss and it's going to make the gold pop even more so let's get these cans shaken up And make sure when you're doing this, for the part you have, you got a bucket that, that will actually is deeper than, uh, than taller than the actual part you're using. Um, because you, because when you get it down, you're going to want to swirl it around to get the paint away from the part. So when you go to pull it up, you don't pull any extra paint off of it. Okay, now let's get into it. And you're going to want a steady hand. If you don't have a steady hand, make sure you have somebody that does and make sure they're also wearing a respirator and gloves. Healthy living is the right way to do it. I don't want you being fluffy and like me because uh, I'm starting to have to lose weight now and, and I want to actually live longer. Thanks to my wife. Too much. A little more.
There we go. Let me show you what it looks like before I actually do it. Let's get this camera over here real quick. That's my design. If you can see it. And now we're going to do the hydro dipping part. Make sure you have a steady hand. Because it does take a little time. That came out really good. For the most part. We're going to let this dry. We're going to let this dry and do and, and then we'll clear clear it out. And that's really quick, All right? The only problem is, is the prep work. Getting, finding the bucket that you're never going to use again, or go out and buy one. Make sure you have gloves that come up at least to here, because depending on the part, you're going to want it to come up to your elbow. And next time I'll show you a how-to video on how to clear coat after you get it done. But since that's not our last step, we're going to also do a final color, and I'm going to let you all pick the color. Let's grab the colors I currently have. Let's move this bucket out of the way real quick. Okay, bucket's out of the way. Mind you, we still have the gold. Black. Let's see, what's the other color we got here? Ah, there we go. Yellow, pink, blue, and white. Like I said, the colors that you could choose from for that solid stripe that we want to do on the helmet, we could choose between the white, the gold, the, the, the semi-gloss black, this ugly yellowish color here. Let's see if I can get it. That's too bright. Let's show it on. Apparently yellow's out of it. Pink. There we go. Pink. Blue. And that's it. Put that put put it down in the comment section below to see what color you think best matches this uh, this lovely helmet here and that's what I'm gonna leave it as and show you what can do later just leave a comment down below if you like this video if you do please hit that like button and I hope you I see you on another how-to video with auto body man and I hope you have an auto body day